Okay, today I'm underneath a Polaris Virage jet ski, and I had a issue with the uh, intake grate. This, I've also got a speedometer not working. And this is where your uh, water pressure, it's a pitot tube style. It, it, the speedometer works off of pressure, water pressure coming up that tube. And and uh, that's the piece that is basically the pickup. So it doesn't use the mechanical, I guess, Hall effect type sensor that the Yamaha and the Kawasaki's use. It's it's all uh, based on pressure going into the MFI. But I've had to pull the ride plate to, to remove my intake grate. And I'll show you that in a minute. But you've got 10, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 10 stainless steel screws that are Phillips head in the bottom. You will have to have an impact driver to get them off, or at least I did with this one. I've got a little bit of chipping here that I think I'm gonna just go ahead and do a little gel coat repair while I'm under here. This is real thick under here. Um, and you can see this ski's been in salt water because of all the uh, white, I don't know if it's calcification or something coming through. Um, but I had a problem, and it appears to be a typical problem with these virages. There's your ride plate off. It does have to be pried off. You can see the long pry bar right there. Uh, I would suggest using wood if you could, but I've got a broken fin on my intake grate, and I was looking on eBay for another one, and some of those were, two fins were broken on them, so... Apparently, this is an issue with at least the Virage. I mean, those are fairly thin. It's that, it's that uh, uh, cast aluminum, so it's not really a super strong metal. I'm going to just take this to the welder and have him weld it up for me, I think. That'll be my most least most cost-effective uh, solution for this. And obviously, I've got to clean all of the old uh, silicone out and re-silicone this and put it back in. But uh, that's a fairly easy job. But I just wanted to show you the pickup for the for the Virage, uh, and it has a tube that runs the length of the ski. I'm going to pause this, and, sh and I'll show you. The rest All right, let's see if we can get in here. This is going to be difficult to to video because of the amount of things that are that are in this ski. But that pitot uh, tube is right under. It comes in right under the drive shaft, right here, where my finger is. Um, I can't really get the camera down in there with the phone, but here's what we'll do. That tube runs the length of the ski for your speedometer. You see those two tubes right there by the engine mount? These two, sorry for the shakiness, right here. One of these is just a vent, okay? As far as I can tell, it's just a vent. It just lays there. But the other one is for your speedometer. And it's going to run... Where is it? I think it's gone into the... Uh, yeah, it's inside of this now. It's inside of this wire bundle. Okay, so then let me back out. Come up here. It runs to the back of your MFI display. Oh, there went the plate I was going to show you. But... Uh, it goes in right here. That zoom is not. It goes in right there to the back of your uh, analog speedometer. So from underneath that little fin shaped piece, it's a pedo type pickup. And it runs here. And it, it's very easy to pull off. Now, these are bad. I hear about getting sand and stuff in that pedo. I can blow all the way through mine. They say you can get a crack in the tube and it won't work. Um, I can't get my speedometer to work. But when your speedometer isn't working, it could be that. Or your mechanical speedometer is just done for. Now, the one thing I will say about the Polaris, that it has a digital speedometer down here in the corner. Um as well as this analog style this thing sometimes it'll work 
uh, you know, I, I haven't figured out why that is. But let's see, you can do this press and hold. You can see how it just, it just reset that. And it goes into some mode where it wants you to uh, do all this button pressing. It's basically, uh, the Z's can be set with a code so that nobody can just get on your jet ski and take off. These Polaris's can. And you have to punch in a number, numerical code. Just like all the key open, you know, keyless door locks on the cars that they've got. Uh, so that has this capability. But anyway, it, uh, yeah, it's not, I think you can hold it and do it again. I don't know. Yeah, see. I, uh, ooh, was telling me I did an error. But then I think you hit one of these other. But anyway, there's all kind of little things. And there's people who have done videos on these MFIs. I was trying to reset mine. I mean, you can see I can get it to electronically function just by doing the, the double button push. And, uh, yeah, see, now it's telling it's going through a sequence. Press key two, then it'll say press key three, press key four, press key five, and it's going to do a reset. That didn't do it. <laughs> Usually it swings that needle again like that. Um, but somehow that's supposed to, and you're supposed to be able to calibrate the needle up and down using the uh, four and five buttons. I haven't been able to get that to work quite right on mine. But uh, that's something you can play around with if your speedometer doesn't work like mine does not. But uh, more than likely, if your speedometer isn't working and this is good, you've got sand or debris in this tube. And there's only two Phillips screws holding a cover on that goes here, which I dropped on the ground. Just a small plastic cover right there. So it's very easy, very simple to get through, get through to and uh, blow the dirt out of your tubing if your speedometer isn't working. And of course, under here, you've got your fuel shut off and your oil, two cycle oil container. It's got on the hood, it's got some stuff. It tells you how to work this MFI display right there. If yours just happens to be missing it, then you can pause this video, read that, and teaches you how to work that MFI display. All right, so that's what I'm working on today. I've got to go see the welder, get my little aluminum welding done, and get my Polaris back on the lake. Uh, so far, it's been my favorite jet ski. I just, I'm really impressed with the, with the brand. They got talked really bad about, I think, because Yamaha and Kawasaki didn't want any more competition in the market, and Polaris actually did make a very good jet ski, in my opinion. Thanks for watching Shades Tree Jet Ski. We'll see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.